everyone. Hope you're having a good Monday. So I said I would try and catch up with you on every Monday, so I'm doing so again today. So I just want to talk about what I've been doing this week and also let you know about a change that I'm attempting to make too. So I'll start off with what I've been doing this week. Right, well, first of all, my husband said that if any snowflakes fall from the sky that look like this, please let him know because he won't be going outside. So this is actually a snowflake that um, I made as I was prompted to start thinking about the winter season ahead of us as a particular seasonal event. I'll avoid mentioning the word too much. So it's made with a fine organic cotton and I actually enjoyed making it. It's a bit floppy which is because I've left a lot of space here um, but I have actually ordered some stiffening spray for fabric so we'll see what how that helps it. But I'm going to make some others as well with sort of more solid designs too and I'm thinking of making everyone different. So I have been thinking about that and I have to say thank you to Philip Cox who's a glass artist who is really really helpful on social media as well and we were just talking about um, Christmas this morning and he suggested that I made some macrame snowflakes. He's made beautiful glass um, snowflakes before so it was really generous of him to suggest that I make some snowflakes albeit in a different material so thank you for that and I also want to say thank you to Simon Scholes on social media because he was sort of prompting people to people who have small businesses and people who make and sell things just to be thinking about um, the winter season ahead and social media content and uh, their products and everything relating to that season really so thank you to Simon Scholes as well so what else have I been doing okay so I've started another macrame plant hanger today but this one is made with jute which is a really traditional organic macrame cord and uh, yeah it's in an interesting burnt orange colour which I quite like as well and in the past it was only possible to get jute in a very limited range of colours um, as I discovered when reading a book that was written in 1971 about macrame um, so really lucky now that we can get jute in, in so many different colours and uh, hemp cord as well in lots of different colours. So I've been enjoying working with that and the beads too, I should just mention the beads. Again they're upcycled ones that are made of wood. So yeah quite a standard macrame plant hanger but nice and relaxing to make. So I wanted to talk as well about the change that I'm attempting to make at the moment. Um, so the Friday just gone, I actually took part of the day off, which can be really hard when you've got a small business. It can, because you, you're always thinking of things that you can be doing all the time. But although I've thought about doing this before, having a day that I properly take off every week, I've actually really decided that I want to go for that now and make sure that I do that for a whole variety of reasons. Um, I found that taking that day off actually sort of gave me the extra inspiration. I was able to really sort of connect with myself and I felt that I could think more clearly afterwards. So that's the change that I'm working on making and I'm going to, at least for now, make that day Friday that's a day that just works for me where I don't have any sort of really fixed commitments that are, that are booked in. Um, so just for example this Friday just gone I just went and sat in a sort of local green area and I just uh, sketched plants and trees and just just relaxed. In fact before I began drawing I just spent some time just sort of sitting and just being and just reconnecting with myself. I know weekends are quite typical for people to take that time off but um, with the kind of work I'm doing I spend uh, Saturday and Sunday mornings uh, very often working online and then the afternoons with family. Um, so Friday will be a day to, to really 
yeah, reconnect with myself, gain inspiration, just rest, uh, just be. So I'm really going for it. So I'm hoping that talking about it here now will actually help me do that. It will give me the motivation to do it this time. Um, so yeah, they're the main things that I wanted to talk to you about really. I'll just yeah, ask you a quick question. So yeah, snowflakes, I'll carry on making these, but is there anything else that you would like to see made for the winter season? So I'm thinking maybe some macrame trees. There are lots of people that do macrame trees, but I'm kind of thinking about having a go and ex experiment with lots of different kinds and then just come up with something a bit different. So I'm thinking of, yeah, macrame trees possibly, but anything else that you'd particularly like to see that relates to the winter season and in any particular colours too. Do you like metallics? Do you like uh, metallic cords or would you be looking for um, warm colours or the sort of traditional red and green or or just neutral so just ideas for sort of um, different things that you would like to see me design and create in Macrame and what colours you'd like me to use too so that would be great if you could let me know um, before I go I've got one more thank you I thanked her before but I'd like to thank Vicky again because um, Vicky um, who runs the Aspects of the Goddess programme, I will link that below again, um, she has suggested that I took that time off for the creative play, which I, I also consider um, what I'm doing with Fridays as, uh, as being that, that is a time for me to play creatively too. So thank you, Vicky. I think that's it for now, but I look forward to seeing you next Monday and have a great week. Bye.